How's it going, fishing family? I'm off today, and it is pouring down rain, but TWRA is doing a trout stocking today, about 30 miles from my house, so I'm gonna go over and see if I can get some footage of that. Uh, maybe the rain will taper off and get a little bit of fishing in. Uh, I'm excited about it. I haven't got to see this in person. Uh, they recently uh, did a dump here in town. They only dumped about 300 in a local stream. Uh, but I've uh, went out a couple nights this week, ended up landing a few. Most of your average rainbow that you're going to catch uh, that they're stocking are about 10 inches. But it's still fun. Uh, so, hey, let's get to it. How cool is that guys? That's awesome. They just stocked 750 rainbow in here. So a lot of these guys are gonna be on dinner plates tonight. I've got hooked him, so I'm gonna take him home and cook him. I'm not gonna let him go to waste, so. All right, fishing family, I finally made it home. I uh, cut my trip short because I did uh, kind of deep uh, hook the one trout, so I thought uh, versus uh, throwing it back and wasting it, I was gonna bring it home and cook it. So I'm gonna get in here real quick, get this fish cleaned up and in the refrigerator, and then I've gotta go run pick up a couple ingredients. And I'm excited to try this. I've never had trout before, and uh, I'm excited to try it. Let's get to it. You know, an important thing with fish, fish is so lean that if uh, you do not cut it with butter, uh, a lot of times that lean meat will not take in all those flavors from the seasoning that you're putting in on it. So what I did uh, while I'm waiting for my fries to cook, I put a couple pats of butter and then put some Mrs. Dash on there as well as some salt and pepper. 
and then slowly let that kind of melt on there and then cut the heat back down so that it could just kind of sit there and marinate on that. So my question is, is if you use more than a dash of this, is it still Mrs. Dash? What would you consider that? I don't know. I'm gonna get this finished up real quick and then I'll be back with a quick taste test. I'm excited about tasting this. I hope it's really good. It smells good. I'm more of a fried fish guy, which I, you can't have bad fried fish, but I'm generally not one to bake or pants here, but we're gonna test this. Tastes so good, make you wanna slap your mama. Don't it, Willie? Yeah, boy. Hey, mama. Oh, All right, guys. There we go. There's my first trout meal that I have ever cooked. I'm gonna spare you watching me eat this. I eat like a caveman and I've got a beard. So by the time I'm done with this, I'm gonna have coleslaw in this. I'm gonna have some french fries. I'll probably have some trout drizzle running down. You can't unsee that. So I'm gonna go enjoy this and I'll come back and give you my honest review about it. What I think it looks good, but looks can be deceiving. Let's eat. Woo, guys. Woo. Woo, that was pretty good. How as country boy said, that was many feet. Woo, that was delicious. I'm gonna give that a six and a half out of 10. Uh, I think it could be improved if I looked up some better recipes, maybe some sauces to put on it, but I'm definitely not disappointed and I'm glad I brought that fish home and cooked it up. Woo, that was good. Well, fish and family, hey, today was a blast. Didn't catch a ton of fish, but I still had a good time. Uh, it was interesting getting to see uh, TWRA, the way they released the trout into these streams, the way they're stocking them, and uh, talked to some of the different uh, officers about it, and met some great people. You know, it's these fish aren't as hard to catch. Your, your farm-raised fish, they've kind of been fed, so they're a little easier to catch than your native fish. Uh, it's probably a little harder to find a spot actually to fish and not get hooked. I was sitting there and all of a sudden I saw something yellow shoot by my face and I felt it hit my beard and I didn't know what it was and I looked over and a, a lady had snagged her jig and when she pulled it, it literally went right across the bottom of my beard. Thank goodness I didn't get hooked. So, and also meant an interesting person, Stormer, you told me you've got your YouTube equipment ready to film. I'm ready to see a video. You need to post some videos. Your first is gonna be your worst, but hey, we only get better the more that we keep doing this. So get your first video uploaded. Message me, let me know. I'm gonna subscribe. I can't wait to see it. Pleasure meeting you too. Guys, till next time, grab your poles. Call me buddy. Get there, make some memories. Give me some elbow. I love you guys. Hey, if you've got a winter trout stocking program in your area, Grab your friends, grab your kids, grab your poles, get out there and do it. It's a lot of fun. Hey, till next time, be safe and have a Merry Christmas. And we'll talk to you really soon.